The Falcon faithful just knew they were going to get them a win today because they were playing the Detroit Lions. Guys, I know many of you out there were hoping that the Falcons were going to go 2-0 under the interim head coach Raheem Morris. But, guys, everything that could have went right always go wrong for the Atlanta Falcons. Every dag on time. This video today is dedicated to a good friend of mine, Burt Evans, originally from Detroit, Michigan. He is a diehard uh, Detroit Lions fan. He left us around this time two years ago. Um, I believe, actually, if I got the phone call on my birthday, which is tomorrow. So I wanted to uh, dedicate this video to him because I know he was smiling down today when this, how, uh, how this game turned out. I, I just, I, I got to give all of that to Burt. But guys, we're going to get into it right after the jump. We're going to break this thing down on exactly what took place. Welcome back to Tomorrow Live Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. Guys, when I tell you the daggone Atlanta, the Atlanta Falcons, hey, all jokes aside, the Atlanta Falcons came out today. They showed that they had a post in their chest on both offense and defense. Well, uh, more so on defense than offense. You got to, Falcon fans, you got to give it up. Matt Ryan threw the ball 42 times, complete 31 for 338 yards, one touchdown. Oh, he had over, was it 100, was it 105 pass rating today? Now, guys, you for all of you out there saying Matt Ryan is the problem, I want you to think about this. When the, when the next quarterback comes to Atlanta to play football for this team, and they come in there stinking up the joint, as I like to say, they are dumpster juice. I don't want to hear none of you out there complaining because, hey, man, we want Matt Ryan back. Nah, nah not going to happen, boss. Once he's gone, he's gone, okay? He, he, he'll he do that one year, excuse me, he'll do that one-day contract to retire as a Falcon. Got to get, got to give it up to the rookie, AJ, uh, AJ Terrell. Man, he got, he got hit with a rough in the passer call today because he launched at Matt Stafford. But that young man has been laying the wood on receivers quarterbacks and running backs over the past couple of weeks. So many of you that doubted his skills as far as being out there on the field to come with his A game, got to get a young man credit. He's been doing just that. But we already know this was a close game from start to finish. The Detroit Lions head coach, Matt, head coach Matt Patricia and offensive coordinator Darren Wayne Bevel, please bring me your whistles because you two need to drop your, you need to turn in your whistles immediately. The, the, all of this daggone playing, playing it safe out here on the field with this game today made no sense. You guys left a lot of yards on the, a lot of yards out there that could have been gained as well as points not being scored on the board. Uh, the question, the questionable play calling, I mean, and, and I mean, the questionable play calling cost them a lot of yards today. I'm just being honest with you. And points on the board. I know the Lion fans thank Todd Gurley for having that brain fart. Like normal, you know, you always catch one Falcon out there and go give you a brain fart per game, allowing your team to get back in the game. It never fails. But like I said, the defenses, they stepped up the game. Excuse me, the defenses stepped up today. As I spoke before, A.J. Terrell came out there, and I mean, he's putting that wood on folks. The Lions defense, they played a little shifted zone, and then they switched it up from time to time going to man, and it kind of threw Matt Ryan off a little bit. But looking from the yards that Matt Ryan threw for today, didn't throw him off by much. But I will say this. They were able to keep the Falcons receivers, both Ridley and Julio Jones, in front of them by playing the zone, not allowing them to get behind them catches in big chunks. Uh, they did play, like I said, they did play a little, they did play a little man coverage that got Matt Ryan off just slightly on some of his throws. A couple of his throws was questionable where the receivers couldn't get their foot in bounds or, you know, it, it, it allowed the Lions uh, defenders to, you know, get close to the receivers to knock back the balls down or balls back up in the air, so on and so forth. But uh, the Falcons, they played a little, they played a little zone defensive well. And when, when I tell you they was bringing the blitz, you didn't know where that blitz was coming from. You didn't know if the linebacker was coming, the corner was coming, the safety was coming. You didn't know where that blitz was coming from. And I mean, they was lighting Matt Stafford behind up today. And a lot of time, a couple of times out there, he looked a little shook because he didn't know which side of the ball the blitz was coming from. But hey, I, I gotta give, like I said, I gotta give, gotta give the Detroit Lions defense credit because when they need it, they needed a play on defense. They got it. And the Lions fell on the ball, and they were able to go ahead and score their three points. Again, that's one of those times I was talking about where the Lions' offense got a little conservative as far as with the play calling because they had plays there on the field that they just left out there that could have gained, that could have net them more yards on the drive. But for some strange reason, I don't know what Matt Patricia and Bevel is doing over there, but 
we, we're going to see. Um, the Detroit Lions, but the one thing was when they kicked that field goal, Matt Ryan brought the team back down the field. And the what was the 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 craziest player of the day? Where you got Todd Gurley, he break he he breaks through the line, he breaks through the interior line of scrimmage with the you know running the ball. All he had to do was fall down before the before he got to the goal line. Not thinking, I think he I think he might have been in one of these fantasy football leagues and felt that he didn't have enough points on the day, so he wanted to go ahead and score an extra touchdown to make sure it pushed him over the top as far as with a fantasy score so that he can win the pool for this week, you know. Who knows? You know, sometimes they, they don't really think sometimes. But, yeah, he messed around, scored a touchdown. The Falcons left. The Lions with 64 seconds on the clock. It's do or die. What you going to do? Well, guess what? Matt Stafford, Matt Stafford and the Lions went 75 yards and 64 seconds to score the winning touchdown to go ahead and send the Falcons to 1-6. Matt Stafford played a great game today as well. He threw the ball 30, 36 times, completed 25 for 340 yards. He threw one touchdown in the win today. The Detroit Lions were, I mean, they were laying it all on the line to get this win today. You got to give them a little credit. I mean, I, I, I salute them. But until next time, guys, uh, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Also, click those thumbs up, share these videos, and subscribe to the channel. You can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. And remember, guys, be that one and lead.